Elon Musk continues to fight for free speech, the US Democrats and the Joe Biden administration are launching a fight to send him to jail, and in this video we're asking you whether you think the liberal establishment have lost their mind. Ladies and gentlemen, this is about uh, Elon, of course, taking control of uh, what used to be Twitter, and now what it's called X, and of course, all the fights that it's doing, and the fact that it's come out to endorse Donald Trump and the fact that Trump has now said he's going to be giving Elon a job in his new cabinet. Now, of course, the US Democrats are not only trying to stop Trump by either trying to assassinate him or send him to jail, they also want to send Elon Musk to jail. But before we start that, I want to say a massive thank you again to every single person who's been supporting this channel. We have reached 650,000 subscribers and in order to celebrate with you guys, we are giving you guys a 50% discount of our annual memberships on 2C TV Plus. Uh, use the promo code 2C50, go on 2CTVPlus.tv or find the link in the description and join us to get access to premium shows documentaries and of course our chat forum where you can talk to me and like-minded people directly. Now let's talk about Elon because uh, this thing is getting ridiculous. The problem of lawfare in the US has now reached a new height when the Biden administration and, and their chi leaders, all the liberal elitist idiots, uh, decided to go after Elon because he's endorsed Trump. That's basically the reason. Now they're not going to come out to publicly admit this. We know this is the second time He's humiliated them. The first time, well, actually, there's a few times he's done that, but in recent times, the first one was when he uh, took control of Twitter. Legally, he bought it. That's what he can do. He's rich. What he can do about it? They don't like it because they believe those in the position of power, those with money and influence, should be on their side. And the fact that he's not on their side, they don't like it. And the people who call themselves liberal and progressive are extremely illiberal and regressive because they are simply tyrants. The Twitter files that Elon exposed uh, obviously showed how much control the government actually had over American people and their rights to free speech prior to Elon taking control. This was of course about a year ago, year and a half ago when we reported on this channel about the uh, Twitter files that came out and Elon actually completely verified all of them saying this is what's been going on. Even recently, because of Elon's success, Mark Zuckerberg has come out to make a massive U-turn. He's no longer supporting the US Democrats. He's come out to actually expose the US government and the FBI for putting pressure on Facebook, Instagram, generally meta companies in the past uh, to suppress freedom. And uh, even Zuckerberg, because he knows he's feeling left out, he knows he has to go and simply focus on business now rather than politics, has decided to expose this. And what are they going to do with Zuckerberg? He might accidentally die as well. Not only are the FAA and the SEC are pursuing him, but people like Robert Reich and, of course, uh, Roger McNamara have also called for him to be prosecuted. And again, all this nonsensical stuff, because they've been going around calling also governors from around the country, especially obviously the, uh, the Democrat governors, to also come out to publicly push for this. This is mob rule mentality. It's absolutely disgusting. And of course, people in America are not going to stand for it. This is simply going to be increasing support for Trump and Elon. So this was the latest update on this situation. Let me know your thoughts. And don't forget to get your 50% off uh, the discount. Of course, our annual memberships on 2C TV Plus. Uh, use the promo code 2C50 on Maya 2C. And we are the media.